so now we are going to talk uh, right till now we have talked listen about different algorithms which are Gini index and chi square matrices right so as i explained to you all of this course all of these algorithms are inherently same right you start off with an impure node and all you're trying to do is using different algorithms figure out which is the best feature to split on right the same the only difference between all of the algorithm is basically how you measure what is that metric that you use to measure impurity in case of Gini index it was something which was 1 minus p square plus 1 minus p square in case of chi square it was how it is deviated minus how it is deviated from the expected value which is actual minus expected square and square root of that so in case of uh, entropy the measure is almost something again something different we are going to touch down that in a while but to understand basically all of this algorithms are same only thing is impurity score changes and that's how uh, you're going to basically figure out which is the best feature to split up so you have an impure node you calculate the impurity score for that you split it and you check which is the feature that gives you the lowest impurity and you stick ahead with that right so given that is a broad understanding and i have probably been talking about it in a couple of more times i have already explained you so hopefully you should not have a problem in understanding that the broad base of the algorithms of all of these algorithms are same so now just let's understand what is exactly entropy and how you measure that right so entropy to kind of give you a backstory about entropy and information gain theory so this comes from a particular branch of computer science which is called the optimization theory so all of these metrics actually have their origins so the story is that all of these metrics have origins from different parts of computer science different parts of literature they have come from uh, and that's why you have the same different types of scores for measuring the same thing so now let's look at this image particular image so from which um, image below which are the three options among these three options which is the one that you can describe easily probably take a minute split second there yeah what do you think yeah sounds intuitive right image c looks something easy to describe they all are blue dots right you don't have to say which are how many of them are yellow dots in case of option b you would have to say okay probably 30 percent are yellow dots and 70 percent are blue dots right in case of a you would have to say 50 percent are blue dots and 50 percent are yellow dots right in case of option c you don't have to say that because all of them are of the same category right so how many dimensions how many number of points do you require to describe one particular instance or one particular node that is basically the measure of your entropy and quite clearly you are able to figure this out that option c which is a completely pure node right a pure node if you remember is everything that consists of people who have either watched a movie or people who have not watched the movie it's a there's no 100 there's a 100 zero kind of a split right there's no 50 50 split it doesn't contain mixture of both people who have watched the movie and not watched the movie it consists of people completely of one class so in case of this option you can see that option c right option c is the one which is much easier to describe because it just consists of people from the same class right so this is a broad understanding of entropy and that's what we are going to stick to the entire stick with the rest of the lectures with so option as you can see on the slides option c is the one that you want to go ahead with because it requires least number of information on the other hand option b requires more number of dimensions to describe compared to option c but it's lesser as compared to option a right option a requires a maximum number of amount of information to describe it because it contains the most it's the most heterogeneous node among all the three options that you see on the picture right so if it's the more heterogeneous it is the more number of information more amount of information you require to describe it so that is and now this kind of for the first time in the slide someone probably talks about purity impurity but i have been always been talking about it so you know that option c is something which is a completely pure node and option a which was the one which was heterogeneous was an impure node it contained a mixture of images from both the blue dots and it contained the yellow dots as well right so c is the most pure node a is the most impure node and b was somewhere in between that right so now that you understand that so and now there's nothing much more in it right so all you're gonna do is basically come up with another formula to measure how you quantify so this is an intuition you know that c is more pure a is impure how do you how do you quantify that that's if we can figure that out then we are solved right then we are done for it so all we now need to know is figure out how to measure that whole entropy so as i was saying uh, before kind of we go into the formula uh, there's a slight bit of thing which i wanted to kind of probably talk probably we'll talk about that in a later stage so yeah how do you calculate it's pretty easy this formula is written out there yeah so entropy uh, so the formula is right out again written out here thing to remember is 
don't try and uh, memorize this by heart okay because the, no one is gonna ever ask you in an interview okay tell me what is the formula for entropy very unlikely but uh, no one is probably gonna ask you what is the formula for entropy but be able to understand and appreciate why is this a good measure of impurity right as i had explained with gini index as i had done with chi square let me now talk you through why this is a good measure of impurity right so let's first write down the formula and let's see what happens if it's a pure node versus a non pure node right so the formula is this minus p log base log sorry log base 2 p minus q log 2 based q what is p pre p is the probability that someone in that node would watch a movie right someone in that probability of success as we call it and q is probability of failure which is probability that someone would not watch the movie so let's write that down so p is success so if you remember in genie index the formula for calculating genie index was 1 minus p square plus 1 minus p square right p is 1 minus p square plus q square in this case the formula is minus p log 2p minus q log 2q so that's all about it so th that's what i'm always kind of i'm trying to harp on this probably now for enough time but please try and remember this all these algorithms are basically the same thing the way they measure the impurity is all that is different so now what is p is probability of success q is basically 1 minus p and it's a probability of failure right so now let's consider a completely pure node right a completely pure node is basically something that consists completely of ones crosses let's say right so in this case what is the probability of someone who has what is a, so this basically node is someone which consists of people who have all watched the movie right so what is the probability that you pick someone randomly from this node that he would have already watched the movie one right and q is zero right so what happens now if you put in the formula minus one log two of 1 minus 0 into something right so this part vanishes because it's 0 0 into something is 0 so this part vanishes and my log of 1 is 0 so this comes out to be 0 so in case if you have a pure node completely pure it consists of either people from one class it's then if it basically consists of either people from people who have watched the movie or people who have not watched the movie the entropy comes out to be 1 right comes out to be 0 sorry my bad and now let's consider a case which is completely impure right so it has got all of them mixed and let's say it's a very the most impure not possible which is basically a 50 50 split so now you split this so now what is the probability that someone would have watched the movie in this particular node probability is 0.5 right and what is the probability someone would not have watched the movie 0.5 right so minus 0.5 into log base 2 of 0.5 minus 0.5 into log 2 base 0.5 so what is log 2 of 0.5 you know what it is so 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 is equals to 2 to the power minus 1 right it's 2 to the power minus 1 so now you do this calculation it comes out to be minus so my log 2 of 0 0.5 is basically nothing but minus 1 so minus 5 into minus 1 plus minus 5 into minus 1 minus 0 0.5 sorry minus 0 0.5 into this is an into okay minus 0 0.5 star into minus 1 minus 0 0.5 into minus 1 right so this comes out to be 0 0.5 and this is also 0 0.5 so this is 1 so in case of an impure node you can able to see right now that the entropy comes out to be one so like with all other measures like genie index it's exactly almost similar to genie index. except for genie index impure node the maximum value was 0 0.5 in this case the maximum value is one apart from that is exactly same the lower the score the lower the impurity this is a measure of impurity as opposed to chi square chi square was a measure of purity so now this is what you have entropy is basically a calculation of this and the same concept kind of applies further right so you have a so let's so now you kind of get the flow of the algorithm so i'll just draw it for you because so you have a starting node this has got an entropy e say e0 right the starting node 
and then you are going to consider all possible splits right so this is feature f1 then you have got fe feature f2 and then you have got feature f3 so all of them you are going to consider based on all of the possible features you are going to consider the splits and then you are going to check for the entropy of the so you this would be a u1 say u1 1 u1 2 right and let's call this e2 1 e2 2 based on feature 2 and based on feature 3 let's say e3 1 e3 2 right so based on feature 1 we come up with two child nodes each of them has so the first child node has entropy e11 the second child node has entropy e12 based on feature 2 again we come up with two feature nodes two child nodes sorry two child nodes first one has entropy e21 the second one has entropy e22 and based on feature 3 we come up with two child nodes the first one is entropy e31 the second one is e32 so now we calculate the weighted entropy of the split is w1 e11 plus w2 e12 right so this is the weighted entropy let's call that um, e1 and let's calculate e2 e2 would be w1 into e21 plus dot 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 right and e3 would be w1 into e31 plus dot 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 right so that's exactly how the three entropies would be calculated now as i have already explained entropy is basically a measure of the impurity so the, you want to go ahead with out of these three possible feature splits you want to go ahead with the feature that gives you the lowest entropy value which is the one so that is basically that is basically the whole same idea as Gini index right it's a measure of impurity so you want to go ahead with the feature that gives you the least entropy value so now uh, there's a slight concept which I will, will, will explain here which is the concept of so this is this is something already you know right so I've already told about this so you have first you're going to calculate the entropy of each of the nodes and once you calculate that then you calculate the weighted average of each of them and once you do that that's it right so before you do that uh, yeah so uh, there's there's this concept called information gain which is I'm hoping you understand the algorithm already right of the three features you go with the one which gives you the lowest entropy the weighted entropy uh, the idea that to talk about this is slightly I want to kind of touch that uh, upon so this is a concept of information gain so as you can see all in all of this possible feature cases you have the one which is the base starting and root node is same right across all of them they have all of them have the entropy e naught right because they are all the same root nodes so you have entropy e naught and now different features would basically give you bring you down to different so let's say this is e1 this is e2 and this is e3 so let's say e0 was 0.99 and e2 is 0.87 e3 is point say uh, 91 and e1 is 0 0.91 as well right so you can see that out of all of the three possible options it was e2 which is which gave us the highest which gave us the lowest entropy right so by algorithm design of the algorithm we are going to go ahead with e2 because it gives me the more lower entropy score which means it gives me more purer nodes right more pure nodes as when you compare to the other two options of e1 and e3 right so as this is pretty clear right you want to go ahead with option feature 2 because feature 2 by split gives you the least entropy now one thing to talk about here is the concept of information gain so so information gain is nothing but basically the difference between your root node entropy and the new child node entropy weighted average of the child node entropies that you get so basically nothing but this right so if you do if you do a split based on feature one this is the information gain if you do based on feature two this is the information gain and if you do based on feature three this is the information gain right so basically the to understand wh what we are doing is basically we are choosing the option to feature 2 right because it gives me the lowest impure lowest uh, least impure impure node which is basically to say more pure nodes uh, as we can see from the least entropy score right so this also basically means is for feature 2 we are maximizing the information gain right information gain as i have said is basically for feature 2 is e2 minus e0 e2 minus e0 is currently 0.12 which is higher than for 
other possible feature splits, right? So what I'm just summarily saying is this, that this difference, right, is the highest for feature two as compared to these two possible options. Feature one and feature three give you lower information gain as compared to feature two. So it's the same way of putting the same story, right? It's the same, you know, uh, I don't know, what do you would probably call these stories? These are like, it's the same, same, it's the same equation, but in a new jar, right? It's the same concept in a new bottle, the same dressing. You have, a, the whole idea is this, you have an entropy of a root node and you're basically selecting the one which gives you the maximum information gain. Now, which is the one which will give you maximum information gain is the one feature split, which is has the lowest entropy, right? What does that also mean? Lowest entropy is basically derived from the fact that lowest impurities for one for the nodes which are pure in nature, right? So more pure the node, the lower its entropy would be. So that's the whole idea. So this is the concept of information gain. Just this is additional and supplementary. It's okay if you'd get it, but it's also fine if you don't get it. It's, it's basically the same concept, right? You go ahead, you look at all the possible feature splits and go ahead with the one which gives you the highest information gain. It's the same way of, it's the same thing that you are now rephrasing it and saying that in, in terms of information gain, when we are talking in entropy, we are saying that look for all feature splits and then go ahead with the one which gives you the least entropy, right? This is the one entropy. This is the feature two is basically the idea. Feature two is one we would go ahead with because feature two gives us the least entropy score. So now that you understand what whole thing is, right? And I probably talked about it enough times. Let me repeat that once again. Finally, is that you have an algorithm and the whole of the algorithm are basically concerned about measuring impurity. Of all possible feature splits, you're gonna measure the impurity and the one, in case of entropy, you are gonna go ahead with the one that gives you the least entropy because entropy is a measure of impurity and you want to go from impure to more pure nodes. So you're, you have an impurity score and you want to decrease that as you go further down the decision tree. And that's what we are gonna do here. So, so let's come back to the Dunkirk example and let's try and figure out how we calculate the entropy of the parent node, right? <coughs> how do we calculate the parent node? So obviously before understanding everything, let's first calculate the entropy of the parent node. So in the parent node, the probability of someone watching a movie is 0.52 and probability of someone not watching the movie is 0.48. And here you can see clearly, you plug in that formula here probabilities and you get the current parent entropy as 0.99, right? So this is exactly what I mentioned. This is a very impure node, right? We know that for the most impure node possible, the value is one. And this is the entropy for this node is currently 0.99, which is almost close to one. So you know that this is a very impure node. Now from this, we want to go ahead to a node, which is less impure, right? So like, like above, we are going to basically consider the splits based on all possible features, gender, age and employment. Let's first talk about gender. So in gender, what is the probability that someone, so now there are two possible splits, male and female. We are first talking about the female node. If female node, the probability of someone watching the movie is 14 by 22. You plug that formula and you get a female entropy of 0.94, right? So 0.94 means this relatively way lower impurity than what you had for the root node. The root node has a 0.99 entropy. In case of male node, you calculate the same value, you come out to an entropy value of 0.98. This is closer to 0.99, which means, as I have already told you in the last year example, this is also consistent with what we have learned altogether right now, that the female node is more pure, the male node was less pure, right? That's why the Gini index for female node was lower, chi-square of the female node was higher, and again, the entropy for the female node is lower, right? Because entropy is a measure of impurity. So now you calculate the weighted average for the gender split. For the gender split, the weighted gender entropy comes down to 0.967, which is between a 0.99 and 0.98. For age, we had already calculated the final entropy score and the entropy score for a gender split was coming out to be 0.96. Now let's do for the employment thing, again the same thing over. So we realize again the same split, we do the same thing and you see what is a cross tab. In cross tab you see the probability of the, what is someone who is a student wa watching a movie, what is the probability that someone is a working professional and watching a movie. So if a student it comes out to be 4 by 9 for a working professional, for someone to watch, uh, we have not done that. So for, for let's first calculate the entropy for student note. For student note, probability of someone watching the movie is 4 by 9 probability of someone not watching the movie is five by nine. And you plug that in and you come, kind of come up with the 
so this won't be working entropy this would be student entropy please uh, let me let me change this yeah the same thing you again do so cut jahan tak bhi calculation error tha cut dena beech mein se so no entropy for students uh, so how do you calculate the entropy for students the same thing what is the probability that someone is student and would watch a movie four out of people four out of nine people have watched the movie so probability for someone watching that movie is 4 by 9 and you take that and you can do the same student entropy calculation it comes out to be 0.99 right now let's talk about working people yeah let's now do the same thing for working people out of working people 41 people who are working 22 people have watched the movie or would like to watch the movie so that means the probability uh, that someone if you pick randomly out of working people professionals what is the probability someone would want to watch 22 by 41 and you put that formula in the same entropy formula you get out the working entropy as 0.99 so now what is the final weighted uh entropy for the employment split 41 by 50 into the working entropy plus 9 by 51 into work so would that comes out to be 0.99522 right so that is what exactly so now you now you remember what was the weighted entropy for the gender split it was somewhere on 0.96 and for employment we see that the number is 0.99 so obviously we know that 0.96 is much, what 0.96 means that there's a less impure nodes right there as compared to employment which gives me more impure nodes so we what we are going to do is basically go ahead with gender because that gives me less impure nodes so since gender has the least entropy we will again want to split it based on gender this is again in agreement with what we have already seen so gender employment sorry gender employment whenever we have compared it across gini index chi square or entropy we have always found that we want to split based on gender because in case of gini index you found that we it gave us lower impure node in case of chi square we found out that it gave us the nodes which are most deviated from expected and again in case of entropy we found out those are the most least impure nodes that you come with gender right gender best split so now this obviously if you want to do head with this you can go ahead log on to gray atoms learning platform to unlock more free content subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates